What's going on guys? Just a small little tool haul for you. I do have um, my Diag cart kind of set up to be like my new tool haul setup, but I don't have a tripod that is tall enough to actually get like a good top down angle yet. So that really sucks. I did paint this wall. Um, I actually painted all the walls. So we refreshed the white and I ran it out so you can see the difference. It's pretty big. Um, I'm really liking it. It's brightening up the space like crazy. I just have to go back and kind of touch up the edges and then the tops with the white. And then I have to do this whole wall. But yeah, it looks good. And then again, edging, I know. But we did uh, the other two walls in gray. This one looks so much brighter because the light is just shining down on it. But our goal with this is we're going to get the metal pegboards and put them all the way across. And then we're going to get some cabinets for the top. So that's going to cost me about another 500 bucks. Um, but once that is done, this setup should be fully complete. Um, I don't know, honestly, if we're going to do the end cabinets. Because this stuff will fit all into the top cabinets. So that might just be like an eventual thing, not like anytime soon but if i get four cabinets for up top here i'm pretty confident that that will hold all this type of stuff really well so i'm not super worried about that uh we are gonna find something to do with this but yeah uh just figured i'd quickly touch on that I do also have something cool coming tomorrow that I'm going to do like a whole separate video on. So look out for that. Uh, I don't know if I'll get the video out tomorrow because I work, but um, it might be out Thursday, Friday. I picked up a pair of Milwaukee needle nose while I was at Home Depot. Uh, I really like these Milwaukee pliers. My goal with this is to have only Milwaukee pliers in the Diag cart. So I have like these three... And I'll probably grab like a pair of linesman pliers or maybe one of their USA made pliers next. Um, but that way I can tell like which ones are supposed to be where and I'm not messing around all the time trying to figure out where the pliers are. So hopefully eventually this will all be replaced with just Milwaukee's and I might get like a couple Knipex wire strippers, but I don't know. We'll see. I picked up this, so I, I used it to unbox a bunch of my stuff. That's why it's open. I really like the Milwaukee knives. I have quite a few of them now. And it's got this little cutout so that you can fit your finger in there and open it. It's kind of an awkward design, if I'm being completely honest. I don't really think I like the opening and closing mechanism on this. I just really like this, the curved style of the knife. But I have, this is a different fastback, and uh, this has the button style release. I don't have a blade in it. I actually had to go pick up some more, so we'll get those out of the way. But this has the screwdriver on the end, and it locks <clears throat> to be like a T-handle. And then you can have it be like a straight out, and it comes with a... Phillips 2 and slotted bit. And they do have like a retaining ring. I'm pretty sure you can put any quarter inch bit, if I'm not mistaken, into here. But I could be wrong. So, this is a pretty cool knife. I don't find myself needing the screwdriver a ton. And honestly, if I do, I can just leave one in my bag. So, I don't use this a, a whole lot. I really like the uh, how quick it comes out, and obviously with a knife, it's a little, or without a blade, it's a little less weighted. I also have this, this is a really old fastback. And then, that's just a straight knife, nothing super fancy about this. This is the cobalt that I've been carrying, let me switch hands so I can do this a little more efficiently, but... Um, I really like how this just kind of matches my kit. I really go with like mostly black stuff in my bag. So I like that uh, this matches well. It's got that like military style, but also 
I like how quick it is to get it out. I don't like to have to be messing around with my knife a ton. It does have a wire cutter, but I don't really use that function a lot. But yeah. Uh, I also carry around the Irwin. I like this because it does also open and close super easy, but it has that little 90 degree, so you can really get some good leverage when you're cutting stuff. So this is awesome for opening, like, or cutting up cardboard and stuff. I like using this. Just a nice rant. Uh, changing subjects. These are the gear wrench wheel sockets. So they're half inch impact rated. They do not have removable sleeves like the Pokins do. Something that drives my OCD a little crazy is they are color coded differently. So it actually goes like this. Uh, oh, I'm so wrong. I just had them lined up correctly in the box, but uh, so the 19 for gear wrench is yellow, red for the 21, and then the 17 is blue. That is the same for token, but like, why did they have to switch these two? I don't understand that. <laughs> it just drives my OCD crazy. I wish all the, all the manufacturers would just stick with the same colors for like 17, 19, and 21. Whatever, just super weird rant. But I do really like these. I haven't got to use them yet, but um, they're, they have a good weight to them. They feel like if they're going to be on an impact, they're not just going to end up breaking or mushrooming out. They're, they're not super thin, so... The bottom has a lot of, uh, like I said, a lot of weight to it, a lot of material to it. So on, these on an impact, I think they would, they would do well. We're gonna see how they hold up. We'll get those out of the way. Uh, picked up another bent handle Tecton with my rewards. I grabbed this for the diagnostic carts because I wanted to have one in here and then one in there. I actually really like these bent handles. Um, I use them for more than just spark plugs. So everything that I have in here, I kind of want to have two of, and this will just be like a separate cart. That way I don't have to be running to those every time I want to do brake jobs and O2 sensors and stuff like that. I can just fully work out of this. So that is the thinking also behind these wrenches I picked up. These were 18 bucks at Home Depot. It didn't come with a 18, but I was lucky enough to find one on the shelf um, because my Home Depot, their wrench section is just a disaster. I don't know if it's like every Home Depot, but you can never find what you need. I was lucky enough to find one that actually goes with the set. So uh, this is 10 through 19. I got these for $26, I want to say, maybe a little bit more because... Uh, this 18 was actually a lot of money. It was like nine bucks or something. But overall, I think these are really good for 26 bucks. You get a complete set. It comes with an eight and then it skips nine and 18. Um, that set only will cost you 18 bucks. How many times are you going to need an 18 in your life? Probably not a whole lot. So for 18 bucks or something, this is probably an awesome set. I, I haven't used it, so I can't tell you if they hold up well the only other combination wrenches that i have are the craftsman ones and those are in there so i kind of just have two beater sets now and that was really the goal i i don't want to spend a ton of money on combination wrenches yet i think i'm going to go with the snap-ons just for the flank drive so i wanted to have some extra kind of just like i said beaters and these will live in the diagnostic cart, or I'll put my Craftsman ones over here. I haven't really decided, but it is cool that it comes with this wrench rack. I like that. Save me a little bit of money on toolbox widgets for now. If I can hold it, we got a gear wrench feeler gauge. Um, I picked this up at Ace Hardware, and it was like $3.90 something. It cost me $4 with tax, but... Yeah, really good feeler gauge set. I'm showing you the wrong side. This is the side with the markings. 
I mean, for $3, like, I don't see myself needing these a ton, but it's good to have around. 10 millimeter um, set from Gear Wrench. This is the um, Universal 3 8 10 millimeter, deep, semi deep, and shallow, and then a magnetic uh, impact. And then same with quarter inch, universal, deep, semi deep, and shallow, and then an impact, um, which is also magnetic. Really good set. I'm probably going to pick up another one of these and keep it in the diagnostic cart. This is going to live in my main use cart just so I can get ahead and not have to lose my 10 millimeters. So that is what that's for. I got a 20 inch extension from Husky. I just really wanted something a little bit longer. I don't have any long extensions minus my half inch stuff. So I don't know. If I ever do need this, I'm sure I will. Uh, it will definitely come in handy not having to go to Home Depot and get it. So, yeah, that is pretty much all the tools that I picked up this week, guys. Uh, I am definitely loving the new setup. Like I said, we have a lot of things to keep doing. Floors, cabinets, walls. It's going to be a long process, but uh, I'm thinking by the end of the summer, we should have everything in here really buttoned up and looking good. Um, so I really appreciate the support, guys. It's It's been awesome, and we're getting really close to, <clears throat> excuse me, like 250 subscribers, which is like, I know it's a small number, but um, it's definitely not what I pictured. None of my other YouTube videos or anything really got any views so i really appreciate all your guys' support and um thanks so much for watching guys that's all i really wanted to say so i will see you guys in the next one peace